welcome to our Jesse Tree devotionals for today. My name is Ann Delgado, this is my son Jamie, and we are excited to spend these few minutes together uh, with you during this Advent season. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the Israelites. From each of their ancestral tribes, you shall send a man, every one a leader among them. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin to Rehob, near Libo Hamath. At the end of 40 days, they returned from spying out the land. And they came to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation of the Israelites in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him, we came to the land to which you sent us. It flows with milk and honey, and this is it, its fruits. All right, so this is a story about the promised land, which is something we hear about. It's a, a place of great expectation for God's people in these Old Testament stories, and even for us uh, as Christians today. Um, the promised land is, is a really powerful vision um, of God's kingdom. And um, we can spend a minute today thinking about what that might look like. In this passage today, um, the, the people bring back fruits. And so our symbol today is grapes, um, which, you know, in, in the Bible would, would symbolize uh, fruitfulness, um, both in a harvest, um, it would have been a major crop of the time um, and the place. And so that's our symbol for today of, of this fruitfulness. Uh, and so we can think about God's fruitfulness in our lives and what that might look like. We can think about our, the fruitfulness of our faith, um, how our, our perseverance in the faith um, has borne fruit in our lives uh, and hopefully the lives of the people around us. And so, so that fruitfulness um, is, a, is a big part of the promised land. But also let's think about what the promised land signifies to us and how, how is our expectation of that promised land? How can we work to achieve elements of the promised land right now in our lives um, and in our communities? Um, but think about think about the power of that expectation um, of, the, of the waiting of God's people for this promised land and what that means to the people in the Old Testament in these stories that we've been reading, but also that we continue um, to experience that, that expectation, and especially in a season like Advent of expectation. So think about um, what the promised land means um, and, and how Jesus uh, leads us on that way, on that path. Blow the trumpet in Zion, for the day, for the day of the Lord is near at hand. Behold, he comes to save us. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.